fucking Santa. <laughs> Fucking Santa. I think that's a good way to start a video. I wasn't gonna start it here, but I might as well. I'm back on the KTM! Oh, little pops, little pops. Now, the first thing you're gonna notice, and I know it's gonna annoy a lot of you, uh, the baffles are, are back in just for the time being. They will obviously come out because I can't stand them. But they are in at the moment, so pops and that are gonna be a little bit quiet. But oh my god, it feels so good to be back on. Now, you guys have been wanting to see the KTM for absolute ages, and I've been wanting to ride the KTM for absolute ages. So I haven't ridden it since I've passed my test. This is the first time I've ridden the, the bike without any L plates on. And, oh my days, does it feel good. So it's been month, uh, it's been about, yeah, it's been a whole month this KTM's been out of action. Basically, the spark plug went on there, um, so it wouldn't fire. We didn't know what it was. We thought it might, like we were trying to read into it, and we just basically made it more complicated than it actually was. Because first we thought it was the starter motor or the starter relay. We were looking at taking the bike apart. I say we. It was more my dad than me. <laughs> he, he enjoys like messing around with the bike. It was him fixing it, so fucking props to him because he got it back up and running. Nice Mustang, and oh, it runs so smooth as well. Like after coming back on the Grom, which vibrates like mad, this thing is so smooth, so smooth. It's so good, but I need the baffle back out, man. But like, because of how smooth it is when you accelerate, it feels amazing. I love it man, I love the KTM. I'm not gonna have it much longer, unfortunately. Coming up to the new year, hopefully had bought my next bike and I'm trading this one in. So, going into the new year, there'll be no more KTM Duke. I would love to keep it, I just don't have the money to keep it, or the space or anything. One day I may, you know, buy it back, try and find it or whatever. I, I, you know, I love this thing so much, but it's good to change things up a little bit. Oh, yeah, the baffle needs to come out because that pop would have sounded oh, real good. It feels so weird because I got the, the clutch so far out because I used to do wheelies with it and things. Oh, <laughs> love it, man. I love it. I will pull over at some point, get off and show you it because... Without the L plate, it looks amazing. Very nice. Sounds good with the Scorpion exhaust as well. Don't you fucking drive into me. Really, really does feel good to be back on it. So there will be... It'll be a lot more videos back on the Grom. Grom? <laughs> KTM, see, I'm so fucking used to it. There'll be much more... Much more content! to be made on the KTM now it's back and I want to get as many videos as I can out on it before I'm getting rid of it for bomb. Let's see, it sounds poo-poo. <laughs> sounds poo-poo with baffles. Oh, it feels weird getting them over. Woo! <laughs> Slippy. <laughs> really gonna miss this bike. Really am. But you gotta move on in life. Things happen, you move on. It's been good to me this bike. But on the talk of KTMs, I got sent a picture in a video the other day. Look at the sunset going down. Sent a picture in a video the other day of a, a subscriber's KTM. He hasn't long had it, I've been talking to him for a while. And unfortunately, he slipped on some oil, the bike went down and instantly burst into flames. I have a video, here it is. I was gobsmacked seeing it, so. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I'll take a look at this. Come this way. How mad was that? Like, his Instagram will be linked in the description. Please go over there and follow him. Yeah, I, I couldn't imagine that happening to my KTM. I couldn't imagine it to happen to any of my bikes. I'd be devastated. And he's not long had it, and it oh, it was such a nice KTM. 
So I feel really bad for him. Hopefully he'll go out now and uh, either get himself another KTM or explore the range a little bit and see what he can find and see what he enjoys. So yeah, unfortunately, oh, it's a grum. It was the new Grum! Oh, it's amazing! I nodded really late, so she had to nod really quickly, but yeah, that was cool. <laughs> oh, it's the Popo! I got the baffle in, Mr. Popo! I'm all good! Not even paying attention to me. Oh, that sunset coming up. Damn, look at that. It's not, it's really not going to look as good on camera. It never does. That is such a nice view. <laughs> You nodded the wrong way! <laughs> Why'd you nod left? <laughs> the, the pops on it are so like... Weird, they're like... They're like little wet farts. <laughs> Look how good it looks. With no L plate on. Oh, it's gorgeous. It's got a little mark. I need to clean that off. Can't be having that. Look at this bike, man. Look at it, it's so gorgeous. Oh, that's not supposed to be like that. You're not supposed to be covering that, thank you. That's been stretched like mad. You have to get a new one. It's pointless, I just like the little red on it. Look at that. Look how gorgeous that thing is. It sounds so farty and poopy. <laughs> but you can see where I just came and snapped this off and just yanked the L plate off. Look at the little, little baffles. Oh, you can see where it's been backfiring and popping all this crap out. I cleaned that, goddammit. No, oh. no, oh. he's cute. <laughs> Guys, I'd really appreciate it if you would smash that like button on this video. If you've enjoyed seeing the KTM back up and running, hit that thumbs up button I'd really really appreciate it subscribe if you haven't already and don't forget to turn on that little bell button the little notifier thing because you'll be notified every time I upload a video because sometimes you know YouTube's got this problem that everybody's been complaining about I'm sure you've you know of the problems <laughs> head over to Callum's Instagram it'll be linked in the description and head over to my social medias as well I like to post pictures and everything and notify you about a week in advance normally of things I'm up to so yeah actually to be honest for my intros that was kind of a good intro uh, intro god damn it I knew I'd mess it up somehow for an outro for me that was quite a good outro <laughs> anyway guys I'm gonna give it a quick blast and then that'll be me done it's getting dark now. It's bloody three o'clock and it's already getting dark. Jesus. Santa man. It was a Santa Claus. Father Mishmash. Anyway guys, see you later. Peace. Scooter bruh. Bet his legs are cold. Got skinny jeans on.